Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something super, super fun. We will be working on a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics makeup, putting together a super beautiful glam look. So if you're interested in seeing what these little e.l.f. products can do, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so we have a full little basket of e.l.f. goodies. I'm so excited. I have just been collecting products here and there until I had a full face. I do love their complexion products that I did share one of the foundations in my foundation tag earlier this year. And then uh, the oil control primer was actually in my July favorites or June favorites, I believe. So there's definitely some products that I absolutely love, but I've been, putting out a lot of content on luxury beauty, and that is really my passion. However, when there's a drugstore brand that is really that good, I also want to share that. I want makeup and glam looks or just pretty makeup everyday looks to be accessible to everyone, and I wanna show you how you achieve that with a really popular drugstore brand that's extremely affordable. So. Let's get started. It's gonna be a get ready with me and I think I'll just talk about the product as I'm using them. So, we start with the e.l.f. Matte Oil Control Primer. This has Kaitlyn Clay in it, which I feel like this year has been a really popular ingredient in a lot of our skincare or priming products. It's very poor filling. I think that I even called it almost an exact dupe to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It is. It does have that silicone slip to it, but I like it. I think it's really pretty. It does a really great job of keeping me matte, my pores filled, but at the same time, not drying me out. So I do love that. If I look this way, I'm looking at my mirror. So that's great. I'm gonna give that a few seconds to sink into the pores. While we are letting the primer just sink in a little bit, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. This one's newer to me. It has the same consistency and look as the MAC Paint Pots. I have tried it once or twice. The best way to use this product is by going in with your fingers and just warming up the product a little bit and then dabbing on your eyelids. I say dabbing because I don't like to pull on my eyelids. They're already starting to change on me. They're getting a little thinner and creepy, so I try to not pull on them too much. Next, we're gonna go in with my foundation. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I am in the shade Sand. Um, this is not new to my collection. I've had it, I really like it. It's nice, light coverage. It really does make your skin look flawless, which I love. It's not very full coverage, but I absolutely love how it makes my skin look. It comes in a glass, uh, frosted glass bottle, and it does come with a pump, so Love that. I will be applying that using my buffing foundation brush. This one's sort of newer to me. It's decent. It's, you know, it, it's not the best, but there is the foundation. It is a little bit thicker, although um, it goes on the skin so lightly and so nice, but that's what it looks like. So I will just start by dabbing it. Okay, so I did go in with one pump. I went all over my face, just dabbing it and then buffing it in. I even took it down my neck and I still have a little bit of product left. So one pump is definitely enough. Like I said, when you pump it out, it does feel a little bit thick, but it goes on really nicely on the skin. It does not appear thick at all. So love that. I did buy this e.l.f. sponge. Um, I have not used it before, but I thought, you know, let's just work in the product. I like that it it has this little flat edge here. It's just perfect for stamping everything in. This is the first time using it and I like it. I went to go dampen it and it grew quite a bit, so I love that. Since starting to use my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush, to be honest, I haven't really been going in with a damp beauty blender, but this is definitely a nice sponge and I don't know why I'm surprised. I absolutely love their e.l.f camel concealer sponge, so 
This bunch is also great. Next, we're gonna go in with one of my favorite concealers actually, and it's this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. As you guys can see, I'm almost halfway through with this. That's how much I like it. Although I have oily skin, as I'm getting older, you know, the my under eye is a little dry, so I don't like to go in with matte concealers or super heavy concealers, so I like to go in this way. And then I do have a damp e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. This was in my mid-year tag as a favorite. I love this sponge. I think it's perfect. It's so soft. It expands perfectly, and it gets right into this corner here. It's a really pretty natural coverage. I really, really love that. Next, I'm gonna work on brows. I am gonna work on brows off of camera. I just, sometimes it takes me long, it's boring, blah, blah, blah. But I am going to be using the e.l.f. Wow Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. So I, this is new to me, I'm excited to try it out. Um, I'm probably gonna be using my Urban Decay Brow Blade or my Dior Pencil. Um, and then just finishing it off with this gel, but I'll be right back. Okay, so just did my brows, and I actually really, really like this little fiber gel. I feel like my brows actually even came out a little bit more natural than normal. I did go in with my Urban Decay brow blade to make some of those hair-like strokes, and then I used the, the fiber gel on the rest of my brows, and I really, really like it. So this is a winner for sure, and it, again, it's called the Wow Brow and I got it in the color brunette. I also wanted to just quickly mention the concealer because I feel like I didn't explain it too well, but again, this is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. It is full coverage. Um, it's still a little bit tacky and I need to set it now, but even though it's a little tacky, what I thought was interesting when I was doing my brows is that it didn't crease in my eyelids, so that's really, really good because I think people stay away from it if they have oily skin because it's hydrating, but it doesn't crease, it's almost self-setting, like, for example, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer that I love, so just wanted to point that out. My concealer shade is in medium sand, only because I do like it to be a little bit brightening. And then to carve out my brows a little bit, I did go in with my putty primer again and just kind of clean them up a tiny little bit, but nothing major. I can tell you that I really don't like this too much. It's a little too drying for my lids. It's Although the paint pot, the MAC paint pot isn't, super emollient either. You have to warm it up with your finger and then start to work it into the lid. Um, this is a little bit patchy around the brow area, so I don't know, not my favorite, but it is effective in making the color pop a little bit more and extending the life of the shadow, so I will give it that. To set my under eye, and I probably will use this to set my entire face, but I'm going to use the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium. This is new to me, I haven't used it before, but I, it had decent reviews like most of e.l.f. stuff. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought actually, but that's okay. I'm excited to try it. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Camel Concealer Sponge to just go into the under eye. We'll test the formula a little bit more as I set my face, but it looks really good, you guys. It's really light. It looks like it's finely milled, actually. Hmm. Ay, I really, really love it. My gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna set my entire face because I have some cream products that I'm very excited about. So, I have talked about this before. I'll just show it to you again, but it's my e.l.f. Um, cream blush palette and I've definitely used and put a dent in some of these shades. They're really pretty and they're emollient, but I don't know, it doesn't make my skin like extra oily in the cheek area, so I love it. But I also did buy this monochromatic multi-stick sparkling rose blush. I guess it's, uh, you can apply to the eyes, lips, and cheeks with a brush or fingertips. So even though I do love this cream brush palette, we might even use the orange shade a little bit, but um, I wanted to show it to you. It retails for $8 and it's an amazing little brush cream palette to have. Um, I think that I'll probably use the little multi-chrome stick. We're definitely not going to have a multi-chromatic moment, but I still wanna use it. So I think I'm just gonna pop it on there. See? Oh my God, this is a beautiful color, you guys. 
you know, oh. And it's sort of uh, immediately feeling like a cream to powder formula. That's really pretty. It gave it like a really pretty vintage rose type of look. Let me swatch it for you guys. That is really, really nice. You see that? Cool. I love these, you know, I love to use these little blush sticks when I am not wearing foundation. I just go in with like my SPF, a couple drops of my D bronzy, and it's all kind of a cream situation. And then I like to go in with cream blushes like this and just kind of pop them on the cheek. I'm gonna use a little bit more from my hand cause I don't wanna waste it. It's like a really pretty like vintagey rose shade. We're gonna top it later with a cream product, but that's really pretty. I really like it. On all the products, I just realized I haven't been giving you details on the pricing and everything. I'll make sure and list everything down below as I'm showing you the product. Um, but yeah, this little blush stick is really cute. I like it. Next, I saw the contour palette um, on their website and I picked it up. I used to have this and I actually hit pan on like three of the colors. So I really, really liked it and I just wanted to try it again for today's video. This one is not in the cream formula. This is the powder formula. We'll contour with it a little bit and then I do have the primer infused bronzer that I wanna try a little bit later. Um, I'm going to use this new e.l.f. brush. This is the Precision Airbrush Blender. So hopefully it works for contour. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, it's like a glass. Well, like a clear plastic, but it looks pretty. And it's contoured. It's got a contoured shape. So I think it'll work really nicely here. Man, that's, that's really nice. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. I like it. Okay. I don't know why I did this, but the contour palette I got in light medium, which is fine. I can still use it during the winter, but I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade here. It's a really pretty cool toned uh, nude or brown, um, which I like for contour. And so let's just dip my brush in here. It does pick up quite a bit of product, so I hope I don't go in too crazy, but. Wow, that's doing a really nice job of depositing product, actually. Um, I thought this palette would be too light, but <laughs> it's actually really pigmented, so that's good. I'm gonna take this top section here, and now knowing how pigmented it is, I think I'm gonna go into the next shade over, the lighter one, with my BK201 brush. Um, I don't have a lot of e.l.f. brushes, but I thought it would be wasteful to buy more because I'm not gonna really use them, I feel. Um, but I just got these, so I think I'm good for now. But I'll just take that lighter brown color and take it along the nose to contour a little bit. Even that lighter brown is like pretty pigmented. I'm impressed. I will want to clean this up a little bit to take it up higher, but we'll do that later. Um, I think that that did a good job. Great, I love it. Very nice, very nice, okay. Next we're gonna go in with two of the products that I'm the most excited about. I always hear really great things, and it's the Primer Infused Bronzer. I've never tried it. We also have the Primer Inf Infused Blush, and so I'll try that in just a little bit. It says it's uh, in the shade Forever Sun Kissed, and it's for long lasting wear. It says it's smooth to apply and it will adhere to the face all day long. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss large brush for this. Wow, really smooth and even application. I really like it. It's a really pretty shade too. Wow, that's really, really pretty. I really like it. You know, the only thing that I'm gonna say, 
I'm going to set my face first and then decide if I'm gonna go in with additional blush. This little blush stick is like super, super pigmented and it's really showing through. So I don't wanna be like a total hot red mess. So um, let me just wait a little bit on that and see if I'm going to add it also. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my powder again and I'm going to take this flat side of the brush or of the damp sponge and really get in there and then just kind of carve out my cheeks a little. Wow, that did a really great job. Um, and just carve them out because I feel like I went too low. I have like these apple cheeks, like these little, that kind of bunch up here. So I like to carve them out a little bit just to give it more definition. I feel like it's coming through really, really dark in the camera. In person, it actually looks really nice, really wearable, but I just wanted to point that out. And I am so impressed with their powder products. Like, so, so nice. I carved out my cheeks a little bit here. I also wanna point out, it looks a little patchy there, but that's just the shape of my face in this section, guys. Mm, see here, we don't have that dip. Here I do, that's just how my face looks. Um, it doesn't look bad in person, but I don't know. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out. It's not that the product is patchy in any way. I've had this powder sitting there for just a minute. I'm gonna take my Sonia G face brush and go and set the entire face. Again, this is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder by e.l.f., okay? That's what this is. It's a Prime and Stay. So this is perfect for me because I like to use a little bit of a light powder sometimes under my foundation for lasting power, especially during the summer. Woo! We have a strong, strong contender. This thing is beautiful, beautiful on the skin. I am super, super, wow. How do the kids say it? I'm super, super shook. I'm shooketh. I don't know. I'm shook. Whatever. I'm old. Um, this powder is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, the the bronzer is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. Now that I did set the face, maybe I'll just do a tiny bit of blush. I can't help it. I love blush. And I've wanted to try this formula for a really long time. Okay, leave me alone. I just want to try it. Okay, so again, it's the Primer Infused Blush. This one's in Always Rosy. I know that I've heard a lot of people talk about that color as well, that they really like it. A lot of pigment. Sahata. I've used a lot of high-end luxury makeup. A lot. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed thoroughly impressed. That's why I love doing like these one brand reviews because I was just listening to, I think it was a skincare video by Sean K Beauty. If you guys haven't watched her, definitely go watch and subscribe to her. But she's a scientist and she brings that science knowledge and background to beauty and to skincare. And she was saying how she's a big proponent of using skincare lines in its entirety because from a scientist perspective, they formulate these products to really work well together. I've heard the same said about makeup. Um, when you have a line of complexion products, specifically both cream and powder, they are made and formulated in a way that they work well together. And so I've always loved the foundation, um, the e.l.f. foundation, the e.l.f. primer, but putting these powder products on top of it has given me the most beautiful, beautiful look to my skin. Um, that's like really a big deal because this means that it doesn't matter what your budget is, you can still achieve this really beautiful look all together. And I hate to say this, but nobody would ever know. Nobody would ever know. This is so cute. Oh my God, I love it, you guys, I love it. Okay, moving on, because I tend to get stuck on things sometimes. Okay, I'm taking a very small, like more pointed brush to then go into my highlighter palette. I also talked about this highlight palette and that I loved it. So I don't know why I'm so surprised about the other powders, but it's such a beautiful highlight. The reason that I'm using a smaller brush that almost looks like an eyeshadow brush is because I want more of a focused highlight in certain areas. I don't want it to go everywhere. See that highlight? 
Mmm, so pretty. Okay, our little basket is looking empty now. The last product that I have, well, actually I have two more products. I have eyes and eyelashes, um, three more products, and then I have a setting spray. But I did pick up the e.l.f. New the New Classics palette. I thought that it was really beautiful, and the reason that I also wanted to pick it up is because I had been looking at the Artist Couture palette. I felt like the color story was very comparable. I will pop it up here. Now, I did order the Artist Couture palette because I will be attending his master class. I talked about it on my Instagram, but still, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Look at that. I mean, even the packaging is like so sleek. It just has like this clear top. If it didn't say e.l.f. at the top of it, you wouldn't even know. You would mistaken this for a high-end um, eyeshadow palette. This is what I mean about like the drugstore really like leveling up to what's going on in the industry to their competition. I love it. I will pop swatches in here and then I'll get into the look. I think that I'm going to smoke out my outer V. So I did also pick up these e.l.f. Line and Define eye tape, which I thought was super cool, super fun. So I'm going to try these, I'm excited. Cause you guys always see me on my videos. I'm like, like trying to clean up the mess that I made. So let's use these. I guess I should have done my eyes before my foundation, but we'll just fix it if it comes off. Cool. I've been staring at the palette for a little bit. I don't even know what I'm doing. So I guess instead of stare all day, I'll just get started. So I'm gonna go in with this shade called Darling. Just like a bronzy looking shade. I'm going to go into this shade here, Opulent, which is like a taupey green, I guess. I'll go in with my BK202 brush because I like that it's tapered at the top. It's got a little bit of hard pan, actually. I'm not able to pick up too much on my brush. I'm concentrating the color here at the end and I'm being kind of messy about it because I have this tape to help me, but I'm just smoking it out here at the edge. And then whatever I have left over, I just bring over inside to create that arch very lightly. So, you know, it's the darkest here on the outside. Just smoking it out. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm bringing it in. That's pretty, actually. Actually, actually. It's got like a little bit of a sheen. It's like a satin shade. It's really pretty. I love it. It had like a little layer of hard pan at the top. I had to work through that first, but it's good, it's good. I'm gonna take a smaller brush, my Sonia G Mini Booster, and I'm going to go into this shade. It looks black with like gold sheen in it or gold little tiny particles of glitter, um, and it's called Downtown. There we go. It's like it had a little layer of something. I'm going to start a little bit lower on this one and just concentrate it really just right at the bottom and further deepen that up. Just kind of in tiny little circles, just blend, 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 blend. And bring it in a little bit. But if you notice earlier, we brought in that color previous at the top here. This one, we're blending a little bit lower and then we're just bringing in right here where the socket is. It'll just create a little bit more dimension. What I can see is that the colors are pretty powdery in the pan, but I don't have any fallout at all. Um, so I do like that. Sorry, I'm looking down at my mirror, guys. I'm looking at the pinky shades and this one in the middle, Beloved. You can't see it in the pan, but it has like this like pinky orangey shift to it, almost like a duochrome. It's really beautiful. I think I'm gonna just pop it in the inside of my eye with my finger. Just gonna tap it in. Oh, that's pretty. The color's not very opaque, but it gives this really beautiful sheen. 
So I guess if for opacity, if you really wanted it, um, you could just cut the crease a little bit and put set a little light layer of concealer and then go in with it. But it just gave it a really nice, beautiful wash. And I kind of dig it just like that. So I think I'm done actually. I'm just gonna put in my inner corner highlight and then in the brow and I'm gonna go in with this one here called Blanc. So the white shade. Yeah, this one didn't have hard pan at all. And then we'll pop a little bit here to highlight the brow bone. I think that looks pretty. I'm gonna finish up this eye and then we'll come back and do the lower lash line together. Okay, so I'm new at using like this tape and it looks kind of ridiculous, but I guess this is how they get like their little editorial looks, you know? Clearly I had one tape lower than the other because here it started to also form my lower lash line. So that's okay, we can fix it. So I'm just going to continue that theme because it looks like that dark color Got down there a little bit. I don't think they look that uneven, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna grab my BK207 brush and I wanna play with a little bit of a slight green shade. You guys know me. I'm gonna go in with this one. It's pl the shade Platinum right there. And I'll use that for the lower lash line because I don't wanna go in the whole thing with the black shade. I just think it's too dark for what I wanted to do. Oh, that's pretty. It is very powdery. It all went into my eyes. But it was like this silvery shade with like a little hint of green. It's pretty. I will say the tape didn't lift my concealer or anything. So that's good to know, but I feel like if I'm going to go for a more dramatic look like this and put the tape down, I think I wanna do it before my foundation. So lesson learned. Gives my eyes like this crazy eye shape, I think. But you know, whatever, it's a little different. I'll dig it, I'll dig it. Okay, I am impressed with the shadows. Are they Pat McGrath, Sydney Grace quality? No, some of them are buttery, some of them are chalky. These two shades here at the end, um, they almost had like a little layer of hard pan, but once I worked it with my finger a little bit, I could get pigment out of them. So again, this palette I think was like 15 bucks, maybe $18. You get a lot of variety of neutral shades, really beautiful smoky shades that you can use and make a lot of different looks. It's actually one of the best for the drugstore in my opinion. I feel like I do like e.l.f. formula and then I really, really like Milani. Like I think Milani is probably one of my top drugstore formulas, but it created a really pretty smoky look that you know, I could definitely see creating with my more high-end palettes, so I'm definitely happy with it. The last two items that I have are my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set and my lashes. So I'm gonna mist my face first. Um, this prevents colors from running or fading to help keep your makeup in place all day. The lightweight, oil-free formula helps soothe the skin with key ingredients like aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. It's a cool little bottle. Let me just spray it once to see. It's a decent spritz. Mm -hmm. It's not the finest, but it's very evenly distributed. I love it. I do like that. I really do. So this looks good. You guys, I have to say my foundation, I mean my complexion overall, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it is beautiful, beautiful. The powders don't look powdery. I don't look like I have five layers of makeup on, um, which in reality, in front of the camera, we do have to apply a little bit more makeup to make it pop and show um, because we get washed out a little bit with the lights. But in real life, in person, it looks really, really pretty. It feels really lightweight on the skin. Yeah, I really like it. I really, really like it. I feel like I'm missing my eyeliner a little bit. I just looked at those lashes and they're a bit dramatic. I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm gonna go in with this deep, deep purple burgundy black cherry. So I'll take my e.l.f. small angled brush. I use this one quite a bit when I want to line my eyes, but with powder. And I just like to stamp it close to the lashes first. 
It's a bit powdery, so it's not showing up too much. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. spray and I'm gonna spray the brush a little bit. Go back into the color. Do you see how just doing that gave it a little more dimension from this eye? This one looks better in my opinion. Yeah, I think that deepened it up a little bit better. And now when we go in with the lashes, it won't be so dramatic against the eye, if that makes sense. Okay, this is the Natural Lash Multi-Pack. It comes with three sets, and I don't think I paid a whole lot for them. I think it was a pretty good deal. So you get like this lash with the tweezers and then you get two more sets of lashes in the back. I'm gonna cut the lashes and prep them and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna attempt to do lashes on camera. Um, I'm just prepping with some glue. I can tell you that right away, I these are not, well, they don't appear to be like my favorite lashes. They look really plasticky. Some people really like these lashes, so maybe I'll feel different once I put them on. So let's see how easily they apply. I do like that the lash band is pretty thin because you can manipulate the shape into your uh, eye shape a little bit better. When the lash band is thin, you can also get away with not using eyeliner because they just look natural set down. So these actually look really natural. Okay, I actually don't mind that at all. They look natural. Yeah, I actually like them. Okay, that's good. Okay, I did put some mascara on just to kind of marry the two because my eyelashes, my own today, for some reason, were just a little too flat, but I really love the overall look. I think it came out really pretty. I actually don't mind the lashes at all. And they're so cheap that it's like, I don't even mind if I only use them a couple times and then they go. Um, I did forget that I did pick up a lip product actually. This is the Liquid Matte Lipstick Prisma and Prismatic Lip Gloss. I'm not really sure what shade it's in, but I'll just take it out of the box. It's a really pretty like little pinky color and then this looks like a gloss, but almost kind of reminds me of the Pat McGrath glosses. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. And let me just swatch it for you. This is a matte. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. That's gonna go really good with the with the eye color that we did. And then here's the gloss. That's gorgeous. It's gonna look pretty. I'm going to apply it and I'll be right back. And this is the final look. Sorry, I had to stop recording because my camera was heating up. So anyway, yeah, you know, YouTuber problems. So I wanna just run down through the entire face. I think that the overall look came together so beautifully, so super glam. I mean, I have to say, I am so excited about the products that I tried. As expected, these prime infl infused powders, the blush and the bronzer were super, super beautiful. I did like the contour palette also. It was actually a lot more pigmented than I had expected. This little blush stick was definitely a nice little surprise. I loved it. I thought that it had a great pigment. It spread out very evenly, didn't lift my foundation at all. I thought it was perfect. Um, the eyeshadows were good-ish. I mean, it, they were fine. I did really, really like this brow fiber gel um, I'm definitely going to be purchasing over and over I can already tell this will take over my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel I just I already know I love it I thought the brows came out perfect I already knew that I loved the primer and the highlight palette I just, I've used them for so long I know that they're really really good I, I have to tell you I am so excited yet disappointed yet conflicted all at the same time the absolute absolute winner of this entire look is this e.l.f. finishing powder. You guys, I, I can't even right now. If you guys could see me in person, my complexion is absolutely flawless. It is flawless. Like, 
I just look at it and I can't get over how beautiful my complexion looks in person. It's one thing to look good in front of the lights and with the camera and the filters and everything else. I don't have filters on my camera, but I have these lights on me. So it's going to look softer and nicer, but in person, my complexion is absolutely gorgeous. I am disappointed and conflicted a little bit because I just bought two of the most expensive face powders out there in my opinion, which are the Chantecai Blur Powder. Um, well, actually, I just bought the Chantecai HD Setting Powder. I have the Chantecai Blur Powder on its way. And then, as you guys know, I also purchased the Sisley Blur Powder, which I use differently. I use it under my foundation to help with the pores. I'm still going to continue to use this. This is a game changer for me. But in terms of finishing powders, I don't know. I like crazy, crazy, crazy that it is this, this good that I'm seriously pairing it up with my Chantecai powders. Like this is craziness to me. Absolute winner. I haven't heard anybody say this. Maybe I missed it about this elf finishing powder. You guys, I think it's like six or eight dollars. Um, you have to like run, run. Don't walk to whoever sells this. I bought it at Ulta and get this finishing powder. You're going to use it after you've completed every step in your makeup routine. This is the last step it, right before your setting spray. It has given me the most flawless, flawless face that I've ever seen. I don't know. I don't know. Such bold statements. I am seriously in utter shock right now. I don't care who you are. You need this in your life. I'm never going to tell you to buy things you don't need. You need this in your life. That's what I'm going to say. So, thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that I could bring another full face brand review for you guys. Please leave another brand that you'd like to see me do a full face of. I would love to do that. I'd love to do the full face brand reviews. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Give me a like. That really does help my channel out. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm gearing up for a really, really large giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I am halfway there right now, but I anticipate that we can get there before the end of the year and put together the most epic bougie box ever. And I have some really great news. I actually got um, a message from one of my favorite, favorite brushes. Reach out and say that they'd like to get one lucky winner a set with this 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So I was going to buy it anyway, but it's really, really nice that they offered to send me the set. It's the Brick Clark uh, BK Beauty bundle set. And I'm just so excited that I get to get one of you that brush set because it is going to be at the top of my list of favorite products. So continue to share my channel, continue to subscribe, continue to like, uh, comment on my videos. All of the engagement really does help. We're growing really fast, but really organically, and I really, really love that. 